it's been sitting here for a few days. Had a bit. Well, you know why? Because I, I showed them the galaxy oh, yes. picture. Yep. I wanted them to see the galaxies. Is that pretty cool, guys? Well, Hello, by the way. We wanted to talk to you about this because, you know, when you post something, then it goes out there. And this was posted by Brian True. And I had not read it because, you know, most, most responses like that are ego responses. And I just don't pay any attention to ego responses because, you know, it's just what they are. But when you affect other people like that, it brings in karma then. So we have to deal with that, of course. And I think it's something that is important to understand because he brings up some points here that he's, he's missing. And uh, it gives the illusion that a uh, fruit diet is a wrong diet. Well, let's first state this. There's no question that the human is a frugivore, and there's no question we're islanders. But there is also no question that we've had hundreds of thousands of years migrating in all parts of this globe. And we've adapted to different types of lifestyles and different types of diet. The problem is that you would have thought that the body would have adapted to this, but that's not the case. The body has not adapted to an omnivorous type of lifestyle with all these different types of foods. And the, and the proof of that is just look around. Look around at the level of cancer and the mm -hmm. level of inflammation, whatever you call it, lupus, limes, fibromyalgia, doesn't matter what they call it. Look at the high protein diets and what they've done to the humans. Humans are in serious, serious trouble. And for those of you that are not practitioners, if you're a practitioner like we are, we get to see, and plus we do research, and then we also are looking globally. We watch all the stats that we, that we can get a hold of to show you guys, to show you what's going on around the world. And so we try to put this together to, to give you an insight with this. So we want to address a couple of things here with this because he's talking about a couple of things. He's calling this an extreme approach in diet. It's not an extreme approach at all. Yeah. Well, I was just going to say, when you look at a, a puzzle, you can't see what that puzzle is with just one piece. Exactly. And that's where so many times you guys get bits and pieces of what's going on, and you'll hear this or see that or, or even a video from us. And you, the neat thing about it is we get to kind of see more of the whole complete puzzle because we see so many people from all over the world. Yeah, yeah, and we get to see everybody going through these things. So when you see a case, and I've talked to them about this case, an advanced ALS case that we just had in our, in our safe house or whatever you want to call that, and we've taken a lady, and we've done this many times just to show you. We've taken a lady that was wheelchair-bound, of course, non-moving, and I told you she lost her ability to speak neurologically, and she was all distorted, and her feet turned in, fat and swollen, Pretty, pretty advanced Toes case. almost curled completely oh. under. Mm -hmm. and, and dying, no question. So we brought her in, guess what we put her on? Fruits, berries, and melons. That's it. But what else did we put her on? Herbs. Now Brian alludes to the fact that he was on herbs. What Brian doesn't tell you though is that herbs are majorly loaded with nutrition plus it has its special chemistry. You always find the active principles that God put in there to, to have those actions that those herbs have. But they're loaded with minerals and vitamins and things like that. If you think your problem is a nutritional problem. But you have to understand the body as a whole a lot more. Because some of those things, and we, we've talked about this so many times, but this is vital for you to understand. Weight. Mm -hmm. If you try to hold weight on while you're detoxifying, you're going to be minimally successful. And as Brian went down so low, what is the first thing that tells you? His lymph system is a mess. And there's a one thing that when someone comes statement like this, they need to pull their eyes and show you what their body looks like. Because each person is an individual here. And some of the things that he said here, I want to go over here because these are important to him that he needs to fix. By going on a more stimulating diet, you will lose the sensation you have problems sometimes, not the way. Here's a good example. You know, ladies that had brittle fingernails, they would just go take gelatin supplements. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon the fingernails are good and strong, right? Oh, this is really good. Then they would stop the gelatin capsules and what would happen? Back to the weakness again. Because they were treating, and this is what you do with diets. 
you use diets to support your energy mechanisms. You should not. You should have energy when you're fasting. If you're not having energy when you're fasting, because you're not losing energy to digestion, and you're the main energy flow to your body. Hate to tell you, not the foods. You are. So you have to take a look at all that. And we want to address that, too, emotionally and mentally, because he talks about he became very emotionally and mentally um, unbalanced. You can, long-term use of high energetic fruits, become a little spiritually because the energy is so powerful. It's not from a lack of anything. When you're having emotional mental problems that are not energetic problems, you have endocrine gland problems. And the proof of that is that he was talking about having um, uh, leg cramps and hemorrhoids and things like this. What gland in the body does Brian have down? Parathyroid. Unless he addresses that, it could be a long time fixing fruits. And you made a statement here that I think is important that they understand. And that is that fruits do not cause, fruits expose. And I, I want to take just a second, I yeah. want to give a, I love word pictures. Yeah, yeah, you too. Um, in my house in Indiana, we had a 12-foot picture window Ooh. that I love to look out. One day, my husband brought a 72-inch television set home with entertainment center around it. Oh we had to take the frame off the door, and we had to get like five or six people to actually carry it in because it was so big. This ones. wasn't when the TVs were thin. This was when they were like thick. And so once we, the only place in the house that that could go was in front of that window. Once it was set, it didn't move. I couldn't clean around it. I couldn't get behind it. Fast forward seven, eight years, the kids wanted in the rec room because it made a good uh, video TV. So we brought the guys in, took the frame off the door, moved it out. <laughs> Once they moved it and I got was able to get behind it and start cleaning, I realized that the window had started leaking. It wasn't until we moved out, we cleaned, that we exposed that window leaking. A lot of times you can go along and you can be cleaning the body and cleaning the body. You peel back a layer, you go in and clean. You peel back another layer, you go in and clean. All of a sudden, you expose something that you never knew you had and didn't realize was a weakness. Your eyes may have revealed it. There may have been things, different areas in the body that were leading you down that road, but it's cleaning and fruits that clean that actually will expose but it does not cause. It's like Robert was saying, and we were talking about just before we came on here, your herbs are loaded with nutrition. Your fruits are loaded with nutrition. Your fruits, vitamins, and minerals. Look up fruits sometime if you want. I've got a fruit and veggie mm -hmm. chart mm -hmm. that Megan sends out occasionally when yeah. people are interested. It tells what fruits have what vitamins and what minerals. You eat a fruit and vegetable diet raw, you're not going to be lacking for anything, but you're going to be cleaning and getting the body to a point where it works and functions properly and is able to. And with this in mind, it, it concerns me that, and this is why people that run websites like this that don't have a full handle on this uh, end up with problems, and they don't know how to help people properly. And this is, this is the only reason that we're going over this is to show you, to, to explain to you why Brian has had these symptoms. And that not everybody has these symptoms. But if you have problems in the body and you start detoxing, guess what's going to happen? They're going to be exposed. And here's another one that's very common, and that is candida problems. Mm -hmm. If you want to try to get away from candida by not eating any sugar, which is probably the most stupidest thing there is, that was an Atkins thinker, um, what would you have to do? because you have to get away from the lipids as well. So you would have to go all the way to protein. You just try a high protein diet and see what happens to you. I wouldn't advise it on you guys that have what's been diagnosed as cancer and things like this because this is what brought you to that door. Mm -hmm. So when you start, fruit is like, like uh, Marcy saying, it's pull, it's aggressive, it's astringent. Look at the difference between a fruit diet and a vegetable diet. One's astringent, one's just the good old boys. But vegetables are for herbivores. We have nothing to break down vegetable matter that, is, that resembles a herbivore, except similar digestive organs. The, everything is different. The teeth are different because it's a different food source. It's a different 
uh, chemical outlay, it's a different fiber, and everything's different, much more difficult for the human to digest. You don't see, <coughs> excuse me, humans out in the grass chewing on the grass like a horse and then, and then grinding it because we don't have grinding teeth. So there's a huge difference if you push vegetables in that look. So I agree with Brian on one thing. We're dealing in hybrid fruits, and so we are dealing in, in low-quality fruits. I'll be the first one to admit that one. Yeah. But you can't let that deter you. We have thousands and thousands of cases in this one case that we were just talking about who is now walking, singing, her toes are straight. Matter of fact, as she just left the other day from there, her, her, her last foot just leveled right out. We did that all on fruits, berries, melons, and, and, and herbs. And we've done this over, and I've done it over and over for years. And when you think that diet's deficient, and you're taking someone that is so advanced mm -hmm. neurologically and crippled up and opening them up again, no one can do that. And you cannot do that on vegetables. Been there, done this. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've had a lot of years at, at regenerating people, and some of these experiences people go through on the road. Mm -hmm. But Brian needed help with this. He needed help with his parathyroid. You can tell his endocrine glands were down. And the first thing that you're going to crash, what's the first thing you're going to crash? And you stop eating meat. What's the first thing when you go on raw foods? You're going to feel more tired, aren't yeah. you? We talked about that before. People complain all the time. I don't have any energy. Is that because fruits have no energy and no nutrition? No. We discussed this many times. This is about the neurotransmitters you're used to consuming out of your meats. Now you suddenly stop neurotransmitter supplementation by quitting eating meat. Guess what's going to happen? What happens if you're on a steroid for 20 years and you stop it immediately? You crash and burn. And that's just what's happening to people. They've been on these proteins far too long, and so now they're crashing and burning. But it doesn't take long to wind that back. Then you get your health back. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything else in there that we wanted to talk about. Because you just some of these things you have to work through. He said, I developed a transient type of sciatica. Well, he's exposing his lower back and his kidney problems. Of course, there's adrenal problems because he's had anxieties like crazy. And when you're young like Brian and all this, you're really going to see these sort of things. And since he made this public, then it's all available for us to talk about. The restless leg syndrome coming from the lower back. You know, when you have lymphatic problems and all restless legs and all this, this is all kidneys, guys. Mm -hmm. This is all acidosis and inflammation. With the cramping and all that, it's not from fruit. It's just showing you that... Um, that he has a parathyroid bruising and all that, that's parathyroid. Uh, we get people out of that all the time on the same diet. Mm -hmm. that's, that's common stuff. When you, if you've built a, a house and you've used inferior materials to do that, you start having problems with that house. Whether the roof, roof starts leaking, whether you know the windows need to re be replaced, whatever it may be, you have to go in and you can't just do little bits here and there if the whole foundation and structure is bad because of inferior materials. For years we have eaten the standard American diet and we have been putting inferior materials and building with those. So when you start cleaning, when you take the fruits and you start scrubbing, your fruits are your housekeepers. They go in and they flush and they sweep and they wash down the walls and they clean. Good. Your vegetables don't have near the astringent power to do that. So when you start cleaning and you expose things like that, you have to go in and tear down the old and put in the new and build with, with good material. Oh. I, tell, I tell clients all the time, when Hurricane Katrina hit, we didn't go in the next day and start building the city. We took the earth, the, the how, you know these things, yeah. words better terminology, payloaders, er, earth movers, you know, all that stuff. And we got rid of the debris. I went in at three weeks to help, and I went in at seven weeks to help. Those four weeks difference was huge. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, had yeah, black yeah, mold yeah, growing. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, had yeah, things yeah, happening yeah. and things falling apart that you didn't see at three weeks. You, the longer you've been on the standard American diet, the more cleaning that you've got. The problem is we're attached to mom, and this is yeah. throughout mm -hmm. centuries and centuries of oh building up. And so you're, now you've got babies being born with cancer and all kinds of, of issues that you didn't see. You're, I mean, I'm not saying occasional cases weren't there, but you didn't see it oh. to the extreme that you see it today. 
And that's man following the diets exactly. that everybody wants to keep going back to, the paleo, the ketogenic, things like that, ridiculous stuff. Mm -hmm. And remember on the paleos, remember National Geographic disagrees with the paleo thinkers. Yeah. And I agree with National Geographic that they did not find meat in, in the guts of cavemen, they found vegetable matters. You know, there's a lot of hype out there, and there's a lot of lies out there, and you just have to sift yourself through them. But uh, I wanted to talk about this candida thing, because this is a big deal. You know, when you start on fruit, there's no question that it's very active, and you start to see candida things. And what Brian saw on his skin, we come up and itching patches, that just shows you how toxic he is subcutaneously under the skin, and it's just it's just fungus. Mm -hmm. He's lucky his skin didn't explode like some people. Some people's skin, they're just everything has been held back, and when we open the door, things just go boom, and then their skin, they rashes and itches. It's a nightmare. And but, that's just talking about the candida and the fungus and stuff. What about the parasites that could potentially be there? Yeah, exactly. You, exactly. You, sometimes when you start to clean, you can open up a little bit of a can of worms, especially. Can. I don't know how many people I've heard say this. I've detoxed all my life. I've been a vegetarian for yeah, so long. No, 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 I tell them, sweetheart, it is not your kitchen. It is your bathroom. And the problem is, if you open things up and you detox, but you have never once supported the kidneys while doing that, thank you. that's a problem. Thank you. You know what? You just hit right on the head of this thing. If you're not filtering, no matter how you detox, you didn't detox properly. Yeah. You must filter that lymph system. And the problem, like you said, you've got to get with this. It's not in the kitchen. The problem's in the bathroom. The problem's in the sewer system. And nutrition... Uh, uh, to, to show you that, we do blood work all the time here, right? We have everybody do blood work. And almost everybody I know of, their blood work is perfect when we're done. And they can be sitting there with tumors in Note it. he said when we're done. Because blood work can get stirred up like it a can. son of a gun when you first get started. It can. It can get stirred up. But it always goes perfect. Nutrition is not the side. It's the sewer system. And if mm -hmm. you don't get with that then you can't make the nutritional side clean the sewer system with anything but fruits. Nature uses water fasting, yeah. to tell you the truth. We're at least giving people some fruits and stuff. But the other thing to this is, I want you to realize that sugar does not feed candida. You've heard it wrong. Sugar does not feed candida. Candida, remember, is part of the fungus family, the fungal family in nature. When do you see fungus? And let me give you a little demonstration of this. I don't have it here, but let's say I stick a piece of bread right here, white flour bread. That's mm -hmm. a good one. I'll pick, pick a piece of white flour bread. I'll put a piece of cheese, and I'll put some fruit. And I've told you this one before. Which one of these three items are going to grow mold on them first? Not going to be the grapes. Pick your choice. It's either going to be bread or cheese. Why? Because they're already fermented. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the grapes, the grapes will not get mold on them until they wet. Start to ferment and die. That's what fungus is. They're in the fermentation business. Mm -hmm. They're not into the sugar business. They're in the fermentation business, which just happens to be breaking down carbon, which are sugars. So take a look at this. The adrenal glands is where you metabolize your sugars. When you have sugar metabolism problems, they call that type 2. That's your adrenal glands. And I don't care what sugar you have, you're not metabolizing it. Well, imagine someone with weak adrenal glands. They're not metabolizing sugars, but they're consuming starch, mm -hmm. which is massive sugars, polysaccharides. That's when we call in the boys. That's when we call in the fungus. With the fruits, fruit, fructose is going right into the cells. Fungus does not even have time to ferment. Fruit has, it doesn't have time to ferment in your body. And you don't see that. You might see that with excessive vegetables, but mm -hmm. you do not see that with fruit unless you have total no digestion from the pancreas left whatsoever. You see fermentation when you're having starch, or you mix starch with protein when you combine wrong and you stop digestion, or you're having starches. We're all full of candida for two reasons. High antibiotic use and two, high uh, starch eating mm -hmm. and weak adrenals and now we have all kinds of fungus and then we blame the diet when we go on a diet that cleans them out of us I don't know. people complain all the time like that yeah well the problem is we want a quick fix 
We're used to going to the doctor, having him listen for 18 seconds, write out a prescription, and at least trying to mask something. And it may mask it for a while. It may cause a whole bunch of other symptoms. And this may not be masked for very long, but it's never getting to the root of the issue. And the problem is you have to get to the root of the issue. You just keep plucking. We think dandelion Plugger. greens are good for, for salad and herbs and teas and things like that. Most people think that they're little parasites in the yard and they want to just pluck them out. Especially big just, Westerners. Exactly. You just pop that flower off and guess what's going to come up in a little bit? Yep. That flower is going to come right back up. Oh, my dad had me taking them out oh, of the yard. Word. Yeah. Remember they have little dandelion pluckers? You exactly. Buy? They even make dandelion pluckers. Exactly. And it's like, here's one of the most powerful and important herbs on the planet and they have a pluck them out of the yard. Mm -hmm. I mean... The problem is, though, if you're trying to get rid of that flower, that dandelion, and you just pop the flower off, you're never going to get there. you got to do exactly what he said, and you've got to dig, and you got to get the root out. Yeah. you got to go after the root. That's the bottom line, guys. So sometimes you'll, you'll read something like this from someone who's, who's not completely got it yet, and, uh, and you just, you know, you get wrong information here. I will agree, though, that if you want to balance out, you're definitely going to go on your salads and stuff. And we've never said not to balance out. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, if you remember, guys, I told you and warned you that this type of level is very energetic. And if you're unstable emotionally and mentally, not mm -hmm. saying Brian is or anybody is or isn't, right? No, no connotation there. It's enough to say that if you're not and you have a lot of energy, you're going to get, you could get a little unstable yeah. because this is energy. This is the God force. You're consuming the God force at the highest level we know of that we've been able to find on this planet in food sources. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're plugging in, you're cleaning out your obstructions, you're opening that flow of energy, so expect yourself to go way up there. If you need to ground, ground. I, I, that's not a big deal. But don't sit there and say the diets are bogus when that's not true whatsoever. Mm -hmm. This young man has not had any anywhere near the experience we've had. And if he thought for one minute I would put someone on a diet that would hurt him, he hasn't got much going on upstairs because that's not my nature. And if he's going to have a website dedicated to us and that's, sort, then he needs to understand who he's dedicating it to. And that is, we do not any, hurt anybody. Mm -hmm. Nor would we be stupid enough to say, all right, we're just going to keep on fruits and we're not going to... No, we don't think that way. Our only goal is to get you from hell bill to well bill. I have numerous clients that we have had to pull back from fruits mm -hmm. and moderate mm -hmm. with vegetables and green drinks mm -hmm. and things like mm -hmm. that because of where they're at and, exactly. how, and, and where they're at in the body. I don't know what else to say about that. It's all you can do. And uh, it's just learning. And it's like Marcy learning and getting in and working with all these people. Now she, she knows she's strong because she's seen case after case. Knock this cancer and this and this and this. Pretty soon, when you do this long enough, you know what you can do with this. Because you've done it over and over and over. Just like the client I showed you her eyes this morning. Yeah. How much clearer oh they are God. and what she's got now. Oh. She didn't do that with any vegetable. She didn't and couldn't. But, She's oh, done it with fruits. Oh, my God. I mean, these are going to be in the school before and after mm -hmm. because you saw that black stuff all mm -hmm. in her head and stuff. Yep. You got it almost gone. I tell you what, it, we see befores and after eyes, and it's amazing to see this. I recommend, Brian, you pull your eyes and take a look. Mm -hmm. uh, I recommend you think about your parathyroid, exactly. if not your pituitary. You mentioned you're six foot tall. I'm going to say that you probably have a pituitary problem, Brian, and it's sitting down on your parathyroid mm -hmm. while you're feeling the cramping. you got to fix that, Brian, and drain that head and fix this pituitary to get your parathyroid up so you can start utilizing calcium because it sounds like you're not utilizing calcium where it's all the cramping and yeah. things like that. That doesn't come from fruit diets. That comes... you. You know, we rebuild structures on, on fruit diets. So to think that the fruit doesn't have enough to rebuild you, look at the cases we're rebuilding. Plus, you're on the herbs. You said you were on herbs. We don't know what kind of herbs you were on. but Plus, this is the thing. If you have areas in the body that are down, why wouldn't you want to get to them? Why wouldn't you want to get them? Yes, you may get a little uh, thin. You may break some things down. You may experience some rashes. You may experience, right now, I'm going through a major low iron deficiency thing that, that but you know what? Guess what I've been using to bring it back up? Herbs. Fruits and herbs. 
to and bring it back. Where is iron metabolized? Adrenals again. You got can't forget those adrenal glands, and you'll see them in mineral problems. You'll see them. Remember, there's only almost 24, 25 mineral cortical steroids. Mm -hmm. So you have to have these steroids in term of proper mineral utilization, but you also have to have absorption. When you get thin like Brian is talking about here, you have malabsorption. So how can you bitch about, about malabsorption and fruits? You have to fix malabsorption. And if you're using vegetables and more proteins to build yourself up, those are only stimulants because you're still malabsorbed. You can't fix malabsorption eating proteins and, and veggies. Sorry. That, when I do a fruit fast, like lemons... I don't have to take any insulin, but the minute I have a salad and add a salad to it, my sugars will spike. There you go. And that's, that, that's the way it is, guys. And you have to understand it's a whole... And yet my doctor looks at me funny. I bet I he does. <laughs> I bet he goes, what? But, but th this, is, this is why we all have to learn and get on this page, because yeah. Brian's a fairly new fellow at this. We've had years and years and years, and he says, my goal is to help people in the safest and most effective way possible. Well, first you have to understand how to fix people, Brian, mm -hmm. because let me tell you, it isn't just about fruits and a few, take a few herbs. People have serious endocrine gland problems. They have serious neurological problems. We have a whole focus mm -hmm. into the body and getting into the body and working it. I don't, I don't know what to say about that. Ours is beyond that. I mean, our whole thing is the same. Why would you suggest? That's a suggestion. Mm -hmm that we don't. And I take exception to that, my friend. Well, also, you know, it takes faith to do this. And and one of my favorite sayings is faith is the substance of things not seen. The evidence of, or I'm getting it all mixed up. But anyway, it is about faith. Yes, you can see some evidence where things look like you're getting thin and all of that. But you have to have the faith to know what's going on in the inside. Yeah. And if you don't understand the basic layout of the body, Think of all the misinformation that's out there. You can go on the internet and you can find a yay or a nay or a pro or a con for everything that you put in there. You have to get to where you know what you know what you know. And if something starts to pull you away, you go back to the, the line. You go back to the foundation and say, but wait a minute. I understand that this is how my body works. And so there must be a reason for this happening. Yeah, you know, this, this is so much poor information out there and then it's hard when you start working on yourself or someone else when you see them get skinny and things like that what's happening but we've got what about 900 videos up here that we've addressed this over and over and over again for you to help you understand that mm -hmm. don't freak out because if you stop in the middle of this one of the problems is you're going to go backwards no question about it and if you're fighting tumors and things you do not want to stop I mean, this you just keep on going. Well, I don't know where Brian is with this, but we help you all through these things mm -hmm. when you do it. Some people are doing this on their own. We get that because we can't get to everybody, no question. Well, but, my, my words to Brian would be don't let what you're um, not understanding pull you back so that down the road you're facing even more issues. Mm -hmm. Do what Robert said. Go to the eyes. Look at the eyes. The eyes tell. I, I've said this before. 20, over 28,000. In fact, no, I got this from Bernard. So I'm going to say Bernard said this, Bernard Jensen. Over 28,000 nerve endings flow through the optical eye and end up in the iris that reflect the organ at the other end. It's medically unexplainable. They don't understand why, but it's there for a reason. And it's because it is reflecting what's going on at the other end. Look at your pituitary, Brian. Look at your parathyroid. Look at the areas. Look at the kidneys. If you're breaking out all over the legs like this, like you stated, kidneys. look at the kidneys. The skin acts as the third kidney. Look at the areas in your eye that you could potentially have healing crises in. And then don't fear them. Get through them. Work through them. Get excited yeah. about that. I remember one time broke out blisters all over my body and I went home and my husband's like, what in the world? And I'm like, yes. And he just looked at me like I was completely weird, but I knew I was getting yep. something. Yep. Didn't know what, but I knew I was getting something out. I was very fortunate I never had that kind of stuff, but then I had all the mucus stuff. Because we have dairy products mm -hmm. in Indiana, you know, it was all milk and stuff. So I had a lot of mucus discharge and stuff. Mucoid plaque like everybody else. You know, I cleaned my body out, too. I mean, we all have that, and I can keep on going. We all can keep on going. Mm -hmm. But the problem, and we do a, we're, we're doing a lot of research here for a reason, 
we already are very comfortable with this level of healing because of what we're being, what we're seeing and what we're doing to people. Just to show you, you didn't see that other case, but you saw this case of ALS. Mm -hmm. And if that isn't the most amazing case yeah. you've ever seen, I had one even better, and we do have her filmed. And it's just amazing how this person has come up out of these. We just do that on fruits, berries, and melons. Hildy is another good example of someone that was a rock that's becoming an unrock. So we get all that. We also get the fact that fruits are inferiorly, uh, uh, they're, they're not picked ripe as they should be. We, we get all of this. High nitrogen fertilizers to the trees. We, we get all of this sort of stuff. But mm -hmm. it still doesn't change that they're still a far better food source because you have to understand what they're doing with all the other foods with it. So all the other foods, where are they not destroying the foods, guys? Mm -hmm. So I understand all this, and you just have to find the best food you can possibly do. But don't let someone's uh, experience like this ever ever uh, stop you from it because this person just didn't have the awareness to, to go on beyond that or, or to come and let us help him work through that. Well, as far as, I, I'm sorry, I just got a mental picture. As far as the inferior fruits go, don't let that keep you from eating those fruits. If somebody come to you at work and said, this room is filled with inferior air, would you stop breathing? because you didn't want to breathe that? No, you would find a solution to it. So, you know, in our world today, we are trying to educate you. Our The world is becoming more aware, as yeah, Robert says. Yep, yep. We're growing, people are planting more and more fruits and, and orchards and things like that. As we teach, as we educate, and this is a good friend of mine two days ago just shared this with me, um, Sandy, and I wanna, I wanna share this. Education is not about filling a bucket full of what you learn and know. It is about lighting a fire. It is about igniting. And that's what we want to do. Yeah. We want to pass this on to you and ignite you so that you get excited about cleaning up the world and cleaning up your diet, cleaning up yourselves, helping others, healing others, and pass that on. It's about passing the baton. It so to is. Speak. It is. You know, I was saying, we, we did so much research to help you that even Attila here, we've been doing so much of this, and Attila's still in school here. He's our next practitioner up, and we were dig digging in because I needed to know more about the thymus gland and growth hormones because very hard to find what the thymus gland is even all about. We know the T-cell, we get all that. But also about the growth hormone, nobody knows that the thymus gland produces growth hormones. We finally found it in endocrinology, but he... he until it went way up into the professional endocrinology societies, and you'd be surprised what they don't know. Mm -hmm. And you just have to understand medically, there's a huge gap between what is a theories and ideas and thoughts and reality. Mm -hmm. And the proof is. And I was about to add too what Marcy was saying about uh, the, the fructose, uh, the metabolism of fructose. You can just so plainly see that yeah. what they're saying isn't 100% there or 100% truth in and yeah. of itself because of the fact that she can prove that she doesn't need the insulin on fruits. Exactly. When she's you know doing those mono fruit fasting. Yeah. And then as soon as she goes into more with glucose, that's when she starts needing the insulin. Mm -hmm. And it's hard when you've been seeing that, but you got to realize we've had. You know, this is my 43rd year or something like that. I've had a lot of years. There's some times in there I wasn't in clinical practice because I had to get other work to do, but pretty much had a long array of this. Mm -hmm. And when you see this all the time, this is where I get my information more than the books because people write the books, but they don't cure people. So, mm -hmm. you know, when you add it all together, and that's, I guess what you were saying is important, is that you want to you wanna use what you what feels right to you from everybody's what everybody's saying and then find your way. Uh, with that, though, uh, if you want to detoxify deep and, and regenerate tissue and things like that, I think this is the level you have to be at. We've already proved we can regenerate some of the most extreme rocks out there, and I think that's pretty good. We're probably 5% down on cancers, but, you know, people diagnosed with that. But when you come here and you let the AMA saturate your body with chemo and radiation and you're on your last leg, then don't be mad if we can't save you. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we do pretty good, but still. Don't get I, I read the saddest thing the other day. Um, a good friend of mine that I used to work with, um, breast cancer, and she, she wrote, woke up this morning. I'm not going to get this right as to how she said it, but I woke up this morning. I'm in a lot of pain. 
my joints hurt, everything hurts, feels on fire. They say that I'm doing this to get better. I hope I've made the right decision. And she's using chemo to do it. See, and we know what the burn is. The burn is acid burns. And anything that's being diagnosed in the medical profession as inflammation or cancers, that's all acidosis. Mm -hmm. And the acids don't take prisoners. The only way to stop an acid is with base. Yeah. And we're, we're going to show you at level two a little deeper look at biochemistry. We'll get down into the electron moves, uh, well, that whole understanding of how ionization takes place and how, how the body does bring in hydration. I'm going to mm -hmm. show you all of that. But it's important to understand that there's a point where they're lost, they don't get it. And that's because they're not understanding the ingested chemistry. There's so much that biochemistry doesn't take into consideration that you have to, to understand the effect of what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's a mess. And when you try to use biochemistry to try to find health, take a look around. That's what they've been doing. You can't get there from it. You can't get here from there. Mm -hmm. But you can, if you just make it all simple, shift your diet to the type of foods that the body is designed to eat. You don't have to live forever on them. Mm -hmm. We never said that. I've never said that. I've never said you have to be a fruitarian, mm -hmm. but you have to to get well. What you choose after that, we don't care, but you have to use that level to clean the body deep enough and to rebuild the nervous system, turn on the endos because nothing else works. Yeah. People have tried this for years. Natural hygienic people have tried vegetable fasting for years. Mm -hmm. Nope. Yeah. And I, I saddest thing is when you've got somebody hurting in your chair, oh, yeah. sitting there, and their question after you've went through a full session with them, their question is, "How soon can I get back to eating meat?" <laughs> I'm de detoxing too. That's quite funny. <laughs> and it's true though. It is. It is. Or, or, or the one I get is, uh, I've been there doing this for three weeks now. When can yeah. I have my meat? Yeah. You know, we hear that all the time, too. Yeah, yeah it's difficult, right, guys? Yeah. There's no question. You have to understand, though, where man took himself genetically. At the cell level, we've never, man has never seen the morphology of a cell at this level, ever. This is such the decay of the human cell. It's not, look, look, you just said it right on. Look at the babies being born. Mm -hmm. When you're born with atypical cells, mm -hmm. scary. You know, you want scary? Mm -hmm. That's scary. And the kidneys are failing. I mean, look at this guy that got bit with a shark, and mm -hmm. they found a tumor in his kidneys. I mean, this mm -hmm. is all over the place. This guy didn't know he had a tumor in his kidneys. He said, I'm healthy. I'm working out. I didn't know I had a tumor in my kidneys. How many people are just like him, full of tumors, all kinds of problems, just waiting for that day when the curtains rise and suddenly the symptoms go whap. And you, you go, know, well, I've been healthy all my life. How could I have this just happen to me? Yeah. You know, this is the thing is everybody's always like, why God? Why, yeah, did, yeah, why yeah, is yeah, this yeah, happening yeah, to me? God, why is yeah, this yeah, allowed yeah, to happen? But you know, <laughs> what does it reveal? What is it allowing you to see a picture of, you know, if he would have just been sitting there whining about getting bit by the shark, he wouldn't have known he had a tumor. That's it. Yeah. What would have happened a year from now? Would he even be around to tell exactly. about it? Now he at least has the opportunity exactly. to fix that. Exactly. If he understands how. Yeah. Well, you know, they cut it out already. Mm -hmm. And they didn't do, as far as I know, they didn't do chemo or anything on him. If he didn't do that, he'll be fine. And he'll grow another one if he doesn't fix his kidney problem, though. Yeah. See, it's a lymph system again. So I hope this helps you guys, you know, we, we wanted to address this because when, when someone puts crap like this out there, talking about the self, and when someone does this, I understand the problems. We get all this. We've been doing this for years, but there's reasons for this, and the reasons that Brian didn't do the things he needed to do to fix this sort of thing. That's what makes a good practitioner versus one that's not so good.